Hello guys, this is Talking Faces. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm new to YouTube. This is like the first like video I'm releasing. So today what we're talking about is Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, the situation with this cookie gate, so-called cookie gate. First of all, I want to say, Kenya, I don't know what's wrong with you and your perspective on women, but the cookie gate lady, I'm sorry, she looks old to me. Tanya looks so much, she looks um younger and she looks fresh. The cookie lady looked old and she looked kind of tired to me. And I'm not trying to put this woman down, but really she does to me. She looks like, she looks old. She looks like an older lady. Um, Tanya looks so much um younger and she looked fresh and she just looks more vibrant. That's what I should say. She looks more vibrant than the cookie lady. Kenya, okay. This episode says a lot about you. First of first thing it says about you is that you are highly pressed about the whole fact that Tanya exposed that you wear wigs, which really Tanya didn't expose that. Marlo was the first one to say it, that you wore wigs because Marlo knows what she's talking about. Okay. So you're so angry that you were exposed that you wear wigs when you really should be angry at yourself. Because, I mean, all you had to say was this is you wear um, these pieces for protective style to protect your hair, to give your hair breaks. Simple as that. But what you're doing and what you were doing was misleading to the people and being disingenuous with your hair products. That's what you were doing because you were trying to put this narrative out like you have this million dollar company um, and that product has got your hair to be, you know, as beautiful as it is and you you do have beautiful hair i'm not taking that away from you or whatever but you do wear wigs like the other ladies I, I i've just seen that you try to put these women down and women period down for wearing hair pieces and and wearing wigs when you in fact yourself wear these pieces so if you're gonna be angry at someone be angry at yourself okay but the real deal is you're not really all that angry at Tanya about the wig. Your real anger stems from your relationship with Mark Daly, which is someone that my perspective, um, perception and other people's perception is that he's not that into you, girl. He's just not that into you. I don't know if you paid him, if you guys have an arrangement or something, but it's clear y'all have something going on. This man clearly does not love you. It's clear this man does not like you. Now, he does lo love his baby, but he does not love and like you. And he, even the desperatest woman, desperatest woman should be able to see that. I mean, <laughs> Stevie Wonder could see that, honey. He don't like you. So move on. So your problem with Tanya is, is that Tanya is so happy in her relationship. You know why? Because I don't believe that Tanya has a low self-esteem within herself. And you do. And that's your problem. That's not Tanya's problems. That's not Mark's problem. That's not Nene's problem. That's not anybody's problem with it but yourself. You need to seek therapy for that. But it's clear your self-esteem is low. Because you're, if your self-esteem wasn't so low, you wouldn't be trying so hard to um, drag this woman and... Um, she, try to um, diminish her relationship with this man that clearly she's in love with and clearly loves her and lives with her, unlike you and your husband. So the problem is you and your relationship and you trying to um, tear down somebody else to make yourself feel good, which again says a lot about you, can you? says a lot of a lot about you honey you really look so sad and pathetic in this episode you really did and if you thought you did some damage to tanya not to me i didn't see that all i saw was somebody de a desperate sad unhappy woman 
making herself look bad. And the cookie lady, you made yourself look bad too. You made yourself look tired and old and desperate too. Desperate for clout. That's what I'm going to say about you too. And Cynthia. Cynthia, you know what? In a sense, you are probably the worst. Because everybody sees the dragon that Kenya is. The unhappy dragon she is. But you want to portray yourself as somebody is in love and happy or whatever and if you are those things then why are you um feeding into this bull with kenya i mean you say you like tanya so why would you even do this it's like a person that's you, you you're throwing the rocks too but you're trying to hide your hand and you want everybody to see kenya and blame it on kenya when it's you too. You are in this. And you know what? People didn't believe. Some people didn't believe what Nene was saying about the things that you do. But I've always seen you, Cynthia. I, I can tell that you are not the person that you present yourself as to. And the reason that is, I think to a large degree, you seem like a person with low self-esteem as well. You know, it, it's just something that I've noticed about you. The people that you gravitate towards are people with big personalities. And maybe that's your problem. These you 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 have you get into these relationship with with for your friends that have a um, really um, um, big personalities or whatever and your per personality is not so big so I think it, it so you're like your light is not shining their their light is shining and I think to some degree maybe it's something within you that resents that and so I think you do kind of do things in the background that people can't see but you are doing things that are really shady as well. And sometimes probably a little bit more than shady. Because it was clear that you knew the cookie lady was coming. To this little luncheon. And everybody knowing what's about to happen. Except Tanya. I mean that's really sad. If I was Tanya. I wouldn't trust any of y'all. Any of it. And I know she don't trust Kenya. But Cynthia she should be looking at you side eye tanya girl if i was you i wouldn't trust cynthia no far as i could see her honey because it's clear um she got some issues somewhere she might act like she really like you but i i don't believe it. i don't believe it and i will always remember one thing that i noticed about cynthia to me on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, when she seen that, like, oh, 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 you know, years ago, I think she saw at one point the tide was turning against Nene. And once she saw that, that's when she latched on to Kenya to be friends with Kenya. If everybody, I just want you to think back or go back to the old Real Housewives of Atlanta. And just kind of see where Nene's and Cynthia relationship began to break down. It was when the girls were all like, you know, everybody was against Nene and ganging up on Nene or whatever. And Candy has never liked Nene. Let's keep that 100. She has never liked Nene. So anybody that think um, Candy is objective when it comes to Nene... Um, I'm sorry, I don't see it that way because she never has like Nene. But once Cynthia started to see that the tide was turning like against Nene and Kenya was trying to prop herself up and then Cynthia was like, oh, okay, she might be the next H HBIC. And so that's when I saw um, Cynthia start to do things and start to um, kind of be shady and do little things to uh, that affected her and Nene's relationship. And uh, as the show goes on, like 
in years to come if it's still on if if um Kenya's still on there and Cynthia is still on there. I think we'll begin to see that with um Cynthia and um Kenya as well. And ladies, all these rumors that's going around, I think Andy is really shady. He's really messy. And what he's doing to Nene is unfair. It is unfair what he's doing. And he's, I, I hear, I, I'm reading and, and looking on the box and they're saying that, you know, he's going to um, not pay people so much to be on these shows. And now and how he got rid of Tamara and um, Vicky. But the way he did them was different than the way that he's doing Nene. To me, he's trying to tarnish Nene's reputation and her image. And he's being disrespectful to her. And all of you ladies should have a problem with that. Because let me tell you something. The way he's treating Nene right now, he will treat you that way next. Believe that. Once he uses you all up, then he's going to cast all y'all to the side and he's just laughing his little way to the bank and y'all are making him rich and y'all need to think about this now. He's not trying to pay these big salaries anymore, but y'all making him all this, this money. I would be damned if I would allow him to um cash in off of me and then I not share in the profit. You ladies could get together, sit it out a year and then go on another network. Okay? Go on another network and do a show and just simply change the name. You know? Because if you guys let Andy and Bravo get away with this, all these reality shows, is gonna, the tide is going to turn to this. I'm going to do a video about this later, but I'm just going to speak a little bit about this now. The tide is going to change, and then you guys are start are going to start to get less and less money as um, the years go on. And you guys deserve more than that because you really expose your lives and put a lot out there for you not to get something in return. The first thing is they don't pay y'all that much from the beginning when you first get on these shows. So that's the the the, the um the equilibrium to how it bal the well the balance is supposed to be that once you got the little check in the beginning, once the second season comes, the third season, then you should get more and more money. But now, from what I'm understanding, that's not what he wants to do. And y'all need to stick together. And y'all need to go against that. And I'm going to do another video on this because I have some information that I can give you ladies to that that may help you guys. You know, you might want to start thinking about that. So um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys, you know, like my commentary and subscribe and thumbs up the video. And like I said, I'm new to YouTube and... I hope to be on here even more and eventually you guys will see my face and you'll get more content because I am going to, you know, actually do videos so you see me. But I, I really wasn't ready to start my channel, but I just had to put this out. But thanks anyway. Bye.